Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, this is Andrew Snort with Creative Community Solutions. And as you know, on the press and media end, we get the opportunity to cover some great narratives across the board, whether it's arts and entertainment, government and politics, college and professional sports, and other great community pieces. So make sure to stay connected with us on the web at asnortoncs.com. Click on the menu for articles and coverage, and you'll find this as well as other great articles. Make sure to add us on Facebook and YouTube at Creative Community Solutions LLC. That way you can catch the article, video, and related items. A Snort and CCS on Instagram and Twitter slash X. And we'll also have this on Medium, which is a press-related site, as well as LinkedIn. And I tell you what. With the holidays slowly creeping up, this is definitely something that you don't want to miss as it really is ushering the holiday season. I'm so excited to have Ms. Tony Gordon representing, let me get this right, the iconic Iota Sigma chapter of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority. Ms. Gordon, how are you doing today? I am doing well. Thank you so much. How are you doing this evening? I tell you what, it's always great when I get a chance to talk with our fellow D9, uh, and especially with the holidays slowly creeping up, this is really something that I think is, is a great event, supporting some great community pieces. But before we get into the event, if you could do us a favor, and if you could share a little bit about the story of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority and share a little bit of the story of the Iota Zeta Sigma chapter. Okay, awesome, I'd love to. Well, Sigma Gamma Sorority Incorporated was founded November 12, 1922 in Indianapolis, Indiana, and it was on a predominantly white institution on a campus at Butler University. And we have been on the global track just to make sure that Sigma Gamma Rho becomes a household name. We have multiple international programs as well as local programs. And so the program that we're speaking about today is Sigma Lounge and oh my God. So the iconic Iota Zeta Sigma alumni chapter has been chartered for 22 years. We were chartered back March 24, 2001. And so we have a signature event, Sigma Lounge. And Sigma Lounge, for those who do not know, is how we fund our scholarships. So we are the advising chapter for Emory University, we are the advising chapter for Kennesaw State University, as well as Georgia Tech. And so with having three undergraduate chapters, we give scholarships to those students, whether they be members or just students at the institutions. In addition to that, we use the funds from Single Lounge to give scholarships in Gwinnett County, Fulton County, Cobb County, and DeKalb County. So this is a party. This is literally a dressy party. So we used to, in the past, we would have a full-blown program and all that kind of stuff. So what we've realized is people want to just have a good time, but we want to do it in an adult atmosphere. So what we tailor Sigma Lounge to be is a dressy party. So for 2023, all of the funds, of course, will go towards those three institutions as well as the counties that we serve to serve scholarships, but the event for adults 21 and over, of course, because there will be beverages available. It's a dressy part. Black tie is going to be in the middle of Piedmont Park on Saturday, November the 4th, 2023, starting at 7 p.m. And it's, we want you to get dressed, come out, have a good time, invite a friend, invite a family member, a coworker, a church member. Doesn't matter. Lottie Dottie and everybody. Because we want to make sure that we have enough funds to fund our scholarship, give away as much funds to make sure that students are able to go to college and do book scholarships at their institution. But in addition to that, while we're doing that and raising funds, we want you to have a good time. So at Sigma Lounge, there is going to be a shuttle. So you can pay for parking. The parking deck will be there. We'll check you in. And you're going to take a shuttle. Because we cannot predict the weather. You know, Andre 3000. We can plan a pretty event, but we can't predict the weather. So we don't know if it's going to be raining, snowing, sleep. We don't know. So to avoid that, come in your black tie affair, and then you're going to take the shuttle. You get the, the parking ticket. You take the shuttle. It takes you to the event. No worries what the weather's going to be. You get checked in. You have a good time. There's live entertainment. There will be a raffle. It's not going to take up a lot of time because it's at the end of the event. 
And then there's food, there's table decor, there's photos, it's everything. So whatever you think about a jazzy party, this is the event you want to come to. Wow. And I tell you, there's a couple of things that really stood out. One of the first things that stood out, and we've heard the term party for a purpose, and yet there's a lot of events that do that. But what was really amazing was you breaking down not only the chapters that you advise at three different campuses, plus your service area cutting across multiple counties in the metro area. So you're, you're, when people are coming, you're supporting that current and future generation of the next whatever, the next people in the public sector, private sector, things along those lines. So I think, number one, just the expansive region is, is commendable to the members of you, you know, your sorority, you know, and chapter. Number two, you know, black tie, like people might have forgotten how to wear a tux. And if you need to kind of like kind of dust off the cobwebs or take it to the dry cleaners, whatever, a black tie affair just brings an added presence. So when you think about what you said about your event, the sophistication, the fellowship, the networking, the fun, you are really enhancing or accentuating that experience. Um, yeah, that's really amazing. So a couple of things. So here we are, first Saturday of November, um, in a great venue at Piedmont Park. Walk through options for people to support, whether they get a ticket, can they do a donation? Like, what are ways people can support and engage regarding this event? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, ICS, you can find us on all of our social media platforms. So, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those things. So, in addition to following us for the chapter events, you can also go to Eventbrite. So if you go to Eventbrite, you can find us there. All you got to do is search Sigma Lounge, and it's going to come up. The tickets are available. You can only purchase tickets through Eventbrite. So there's not a hand-to-hand -hand coordination back and forth with uh, individual members. So it makes it easy. It's just a click away. Go to Eventbrite. So the link itself is IZS. That's our chapter name, IZS, Sigma Lounge, dot Eventbrite, dot com. And you can go there, you can buy your parking passes there. And one thing that's good about the parking, parking is $25 per car. So when you think about per couple, per person, that gets expensive. So to alleviate those prices, we're, ex we're expecting people to carpool because the $25 parking is per car. So once you get out of your vehicles, we'll check you in. Once you pay for your parking, you get on the shuttle. We take the guesswork out of this for you. So there's no walking because from the parking deck to the venue, November the 4th, the first weekend of the holiday season. Oh my God. Who wants to walk inside me, my park as the sun is setting and it's cold outside and you don't know what the weather's going to be. And if you don't take the shuttle, walking could be almost 12 to 15 minutes because the venue is deep inside Piedmont Park. So if you say, well, I don't really want to buy parking. I can park at the Atlanta Botanical Garden. Hmm, they're closed already. I can park on the street. You don't know how deep in it is. If you so decide to Uber, those who want to do ride share, if you think you're going to have too much, you want to stay, play a safe. The address that's on the flyer will lead you to the parking deck. When you get to the parking deck, we will go ahead and shuttle you. So we kind of took out the guesswork for all of those things. So if you follow us on our social media platforms, Sigma Lounge, Iota Zeta Sigma Alumni Chapter in North Atlanta, Georgia, you will find all of the information there. If you want to cut out that part and go straight to Eventbrite, you can find us at idssigmalounge.eventbrite.com and you can purchase your tickets there. Everything is at a click away. Well, I tell you what, it sounds like you and the members of your planning committee, your team have really, really have this thought out you've thought out venue so it's a nice night out in the city who doesn't want a nice night out in the city you've thought out parking in regards to how can we put as much together as possible to make it as fluid as possible um you know shuttle last time i checked you know women y'all like walking to have an entrance but 
if it's formal and it's heels and all that, I mean, unless you're providing Epsom salt, that's not going to happen. So it's like you've 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 gotten you've really thought a lot of these things out. And again, it's about having a nice time. The accentuation with it being a black tie affair, and of course, the moving parts are supported scholarship, not only to the um chapters that you're advising, but to the larger community. There's a whole lot that goes into this, and it's very clear that everyone's working hard working smart but you know the reason behind it so again remind people whether people buy a ticket or just want to say hey look i can't come but i want to donate remind people the funds are being raised where is this all going now again now if you don't want to come if you're busy and you're already booked out for november the 4th because we're a month away if you want to just make a donation you can cash out our chapter and just literally put in the notes Sigma Lounge donation, and it'll take care of that because we want to make sure that we earmark those funds directly for scholarships. Our cash app is, of course, our name, I-Z-S-S-G-R-H-O. Again, that's I-Z-S-S-G-R-H-O. And just put in the in the comments that this is for Sigma Lounge donation. That'll take care of that. If you want to purchase a ticket, again, Eventbrite, that's I Z S. Sigma Lounge dot eventbrite dot com, and you can purchase your ticket for the event. And if you also have enough friends, you say, "Hey, you know what? I have seven friends that I really want to hang out with, and we want to support this cause." You can buy a table. So the tables are a thousand dollars. Oh my God, eight people at one table, a thousand dollars, Tony. That's a lot of money. Well, here's the caveat: the thousand dollars, eight people at a table. Yes, that's more than the $800, $100 per person, eight people, do the math, $800. That extra $200, guess what? Everybody at that table is getting gifts. I'm not going to tell you what the gifts are because I want you to come, but the gifts are not for the table. The gifts are per person. So there's eight people at the table. Each person will receive multiple gifts. Now, I don't know where you go to an event and they give you a gift, Besides your price of admission, I don't know. But Sigma Lounge, we try to think outside the box and say, if I was a man or if I was a woman, what would I like to receive as a gift in addition to my donation to help with scholarships? We said, hmm. committee members, what we come up with? And we came up with an elaborate list of things that we want to make sure that our gifts, our guests walk away with. So there'll be signature items that they will receive, but it's only for the people who purchased a table. Well, Tony, I donated and I bought a ticket for $100. I appreciate that donation. And they will go towards scholarships. But the gifts come in when you purchase a table. So we are encouraging people to purchase that table so therefore you can get those signature items for Sigma Lounge. But if you don't, um, if you're not available to come, you can also make the donation via Cash App directly to the chapter. And that doesn't have to be a set amount. You say, Tony, I can't afford to come to the $100 um, ticket, but I can donate $25. I'll take that $50, $75, whatever it is. If we want to, I had one person this week say, Tony, I can't come, but I'd like to buy a ticket for someone else. We take that too. All you got to do is email me at fundraise, I-Z-S-S-G-R-H-O at gmail.com and say, I purchased the ticket. Here is the ticket in the box. And then can you donate it to somebody else? So then, therefore, I can give it to somebody who cannot afford to come to the event, but you also wanted to help. So there's various ways. Well, I'll tell you what. Again, a lot of planning, hard thought, hard work is going into this. And knowing, again, when November comes around, it really is the start of the holiday season. So the event is helping set a great tone. You've provided multiple ways where people can plug in, whether they get a ticket, they get a table, they want to donate. You've shared what it's supporting, which, again, some wonderful causes. So before we wind down, and, and this is a question I love asking, if people don't remember any of the moving parts about the sorority, about the chapter, about the event, about the service what's one takeaway that you want people to have 
Mm, great question. The one takeaway I want you to, to take away is that no matter what the organization is from the D9 perspective, we all are in it for the sisterhood of the brotherhood, the service, and the scholarships. No matter what colors we wear, that common goal comes into play. We want to make sure that we cultivate an environment where students can go to school. So whether it is a two-year institution, it's a four-year institution, they live in the counties that we serve, we want to make sure and you say, hey, I want to go ahead and donate to this because I want to help a student who looks like me, who lives where I live, and aspires to be something more than a graduating high school student. That's our goal. We want to make sure that people have an opportunity to go to school. And school is expensive. I got two students, Georgia State, Valdosta State. It's expensive. So I want to make sure that people can go to school, no matter what that cost is. Well, I'll tell you what, you, you summed it up right there. It's like it's just a charge that we have to keep and it is about what can we do to plant positive seeds and see where it can go and continue things. So as we close out, please remind us again, the date, the time, the location and where people can get additional information. Absolutely. The date is Saturday, November 4, 2023, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The location is the Greystone, located inside Piedmont Park, 1320 Monroe Drive, Atlanta, Georgia. You can purchase tickets on Eventbrite at izssigmalounge.eventbrite.com. If you want to follow us on social media, of course, we are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You just search for Sigma Amaro Sorority, North Atlanta, Iota Zeta Sigma, all of those things will get you to us. But we would love to have you in the building to help these students to go to school. Well, I'll tell you what, Tony, we appreciate you taking time out of your schedule because it's it's getting close to crunch time. But we appreciate you not only taking time to share the story of the event, but the story of what the sorority is doing for a century plus one. And um, just what the chapter is doing. And again, ladies and gentlemen, as I always say, if this is your first time connecting with our folks, please do not let it be the last. Again, you can check the full article out on the web, asnortonccs.com. Click on the menu for articles and coverage, and you will find it there. Creative Community Solutions LLC on Facebook and YouTube for this full video. And we'll have smaller segments to make it as, as viewer friendly as possible. Uh, Ace Norton CCS on Instagram and Twitter. And you will also be able to find this on Medium and LinkedIn. So ladies and gentlemen, until next time, everybody take very good care. Have a good start to your week. And again, to our guests, hey, thank you for helping set the tone for the upcoming holiday season. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Guys, we look forward to seeing you Saturday, November the 4th, 2023 at 7 o'clock p.m at Sigma Lounge. Thank you so much, and we'd love to see you there. Make sure to join the iconic Iota Zeta Sigma chapter of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated for the Sigma Lounge, a black tie affair. It takes place on November 4th, 2023 at Greystone Piedmont Park. You may get your tickets, including tables and more at Eventbrite by searching for Sigma Lounge. Make sure to refer to our website of acenortonccs.com for the full interview. Thanks and see you soon.